Remember, stand still and look hard. Who the hell are you? I'm Phil Mitchell. This is my brother, Grant. The Mitchell boys. Oh, we met once. Yeah. I know your dad. You were kids then. We grew. So I see. So what can I do for you, lads? We were passing. We thought we'd drop in and say hello. Now that's very simple. That's why we were brought up. Are you here to threaten me, Philip? Have I got a reason? Oh, you tell me. Look, we stop messing around. You go near our mum again, old man, and you'll be eating soup through a straw. <laughs> I love it. Good thug, bad thug, brilliant. Did you hear what I said? I just heard a lot of noise. We're here to let you know we're around. Yeah, any problem you got with our mum, you know, got with us. And if there's a way of resolving this, then let's do it. And if there isn't? Then my brother will be the least of your problems. Okay, boys. Thanks for dropping by. Give my regards to you, mum, yeah? I don't think you heard what I said. Oh, yeah, I did. I heard every word. And? And nothing. So, are you going to stay away from her? Come on, you know how this works. I do what I do, you do what you do. It's the old East End Walls. But the thing that makes me different is that when it kicks off, I don't stop. I don't think twice and I go all the way. So, if you want to play, Come right in. The water's lovely. Come on, bruv. He's going to Ronnie and Reggie mode. We've set up his. She's her mum. And you take really good care of her. We will. Ruby! I need you! Come here, please! Ruby! So, you lost your bird and your daughter. Nice work. Your family's gonna pay for this. Not your day, is it? You've come here to plead for your sister. Yeah. But I don't see how I can help. Well, you know who's buying the pub, and I need to talk to her. Why do you? Because in two weeks, Chrissy, the reason Sam's in jail, could be gone. Two weeks? I think it's sooner than that. Hold on, I've got the uh, completion date around here somewhere. No. Don't tell me how to find it. So? So what? So you're going to tell me what? You haven't pleaded yet. Please. You know, it's music to my ears, hearing a Mitchell beg. Why don't you try putting your hands together like that and really if Christy goes and Sam stays inside what if you don't step forward and do the right thing then we're gonna hold you partially responsible all right oh and what will you do I'm asking you straight man to man to do me this favor yeah I've done your family enough favors over the years and what's that supposed to mean ask your mother How's that brother of yours? My brother? Yeah. I don't like him much. You won't be the first? I don't like any of you, particularly. But he tops my list. We'll take it up with him. Do you know what his problem is? He doesn't know when to look away. You talking about chucking yourself around on the floor? Because I think you're a bit old with breakdancing, don't you? <laughs> I've got him right there. <laughs> well, I don't think you can have, because he's a lot bigger than that. <laughs> Flippancy a family trait, is it? I know where he is every minute of the day. All I have to do is reach out and that'll be that. I know, for instance, that right now he's in the calf, stuffing his face. That's not a surprise, eh? And before that, he went to see Sharon. And then him and your mum tried their luck with Stacy. So what am I supposed to be all freaked out now or something? No, 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 I'm, I'm just telling you. 
So you got one of your bar staff following him around. Big deal. It'd be a big deal when he doesn't come home one night, won't it? Don't fret my family, why? Then make sure they all keep in line. And maybe things will be all right. Maybe. I'm getting through to you now, am I? Your skull's really off thick. Yes. Hey. Still got the old footwork, Philip. Hey? Yours? He's like your old man's. Plodding. What exactly is your problem in my family, eh? Hey. You worked up a sweat. Here you go. Well, you can't... Suit yourself. The tape? <laughs> You're just like your old man, no manners. Yeah, well, finishing schools are fully booked. Manners are what set us apart from the rest of the apes, you know. Well, that's funny. I thought it was opposing thumbs. Here you go again. Jumping straight in. No thought, no class. The tape. Hey, that's it. Mind if I play it? I thought you might ask that. Ask me nicely, and it's yours. You what? I want you to ask me. It's not too much to ask, is it? Hey? Can I have the tape? Please. Please. Mr. Allen. Mr. Allen. <laughs> right. Now just put it all together for me, will you? <laughs> hey, I'm glad you showed up. He's asked you once. He ain't gonna ask you again. The tape. Grant, stay out of this, will you? I've got everything in hand. Yeah, all right, and what's your next party trick? Call him around the office on all fours. And I told you to wait for me. I couldn't. Why not? Because, well, this way was best for you and it was best for Sam. For me? Yes, because he threatened you. <laughs> what? I was supposed to be scared. Oh, listen to the pair of you. Come on. I thought you and Mitchell's were supposed to be proper, eh? Just like your old man, you're a joke, you're pathetic. Your way. Well, thanks for pitching in at the end there. I finished him off? Yeah, after I softened him up. Come, let's get out of there. Stop! Told ya. The tape, come on. Well, come on in, do it! Right here! Now! He won't. Will I? All mouth. Dad? Ruby. It's all right, darling. It's all right. Don't you talk to my daughter! Ruby, go back in the bar. Please, do it for me. No. Listen to your dad, yeah? Ruby, please. Dad, j just put the gun down and whatever it is they want, just give it to him. I can't. Dad, please. I just want you to be my dad. Just my dad, please. For, eh? So have a look at the show and have a look at the coffin. Is that how you get your kicks, is it? I went there to have a look at you. You're getting close to getting slung out that window. You don't want to draw attention to this conversation, Phil. Oh, don't know. I'll go down there now and I'll tell him. I'll tell him that Dennis is dead because of you. You said you was going to do it and you did it. Yeah. You sent him to me. You don't know what you're talking about. Dennis told me. That's you all over, isn't it? You send Dennis to beat me to a pulp. You send Julie Smith to ruin my daughter. You put a price on my little girl's head like she was a piece of meat. The fact 
that you're still breathing is a miracle of my self-control. But if she ever finds out that you paid that scumbag to sleep with her, I'll gut you. Not what you did, Dennis. <laughs> Hot, wasn't it? Very quick. Not like yours. That'll be slow. You will take your last breath looking into my eyes. And whose eyes was Dennis looking into, eh? Well, they were mine. Must have been Sharon's. She's the one who had to watch him die, and you? <laughs> How does it feel knowing that it was all because of you? It wasn't because of me. Oh, yes, it was. If it wasn't for you, Sharon and Dennis would be off by now. And right about June, he'd have been picking up his firstborn child. You knew. You knew, and you still did it. And now, she has to face the future alone. A baby with no daddy. Just because you took a risk with a man. You know something? I reckon her and Dennis would have gone the distance. Happy little family. But you just couldn't keep that great big mouth of yours shut, could you? And now every time she weeps, Remember, all her pain, all her grief, all her heartache, it's all down to you.